As you can see, I also nicked myself on the drill, checking it out, pulling the um, wedge out, so a few marks on it. But, as you can see, that's all the holes drilled, so we'll take that out. You can see that's my holes. No breakout. Perfectly round form. Now we've got to put a 6mm dowels in there. Uh, which my wife has now gone to fetch because I thought I'd got some and I haven't. It's a, it's a cog. The sort of cog you would find in a windmill. An early windmill. If you've been to Holland or some places in England have still got them working. This is what they use. And they're used in clocks. While we're on the subject to these, on this particular type of um, jigging, the same principle applies for, for uh, making these. This is just a, a beam engine that I built. Uh, these are magnets, of course. But same principle. You just build one that size with a jig, sink the magnets so they flush, glue them in. Uh, this one's also got, just so you can see, it's got a lead weight around the edge. That goes across there. I know it's a bit off subject, but I thought you might be interested. Extend the bar. Magnet goes up and down inside that coil there. There's actually a row of them. And it does provide quite a bit of energy to a large capacitor. But I've not tried running it yet, but I'm going to with this one. So I'm going to try self uh, another self running boat. I had actually get up on it, but I, I went to a museum, saw these, and I've always been fascinated with them, so I thought I'd build one. Still waiting. Also, as I've shown you earlier, if you wanted to, you could also go the other route now and take the quick route and shove 6mm neodymium magnets all the way around on that. Oops, wrong way. Shove them all the way in. And have all your coils there and build a generator that way. I'm sticking to my guns because I want to use the geared system because I'm also doing this to show somebody else about another project. The wife's back with the 6mm dial. Brilliant, we can now make these. <coughs> Again, choice of materials. I should have gone myself, but my wife offered to go for me. She's gone for some more now. This looks perfectly okay, but watch. Absolutely useless. Useless stuff. Yes, it was 59p. 59p's worth of crap. Whoa, the dowels arrived. As you can see, much better stuff. Right, now what we need to do is cut it all to the right length. The mark on our block at 40 millimeters. There, and that's how long we're going to make them. And all we need to do now is to get a block of timber and screw it on there at our 40 mil part. That's the piece of timber sawn and screwed on. We then put that dowel that we're going to cut in there down the side of our block. One. Two. And so on. Uh, until we've got them all that we require. There's our 18 cut. And we're now going to whack them in there, as they say. I always do that on a piece of board and then double glue in, bang it down. Double glue in, bang it down until it hits the back. Nice and square, like so. Right, I'll go and do all them. A uh, good little tip here is to use a pencil sharpener on the end of them and just take the edges off. Another quick tip, I like to go away around mine, fill them with a bit of uh, PVA glue and then give them a tap. And as you can see, it goes all the way down and coats all the sides. Right, that's all them in. And now take the sand block and just remove any ice spots. from the back. And there we are. One cog done. You can build this all out of aluminium if you want. But some say this is what they're used to using windmills. So appropriately this is a windmill. For anybody that's going to ask I will give all dimensions of this particular jig 
when we've com when I've completed the project. So I'll give you all the holes, where to drill all these, and so forth. The only thing you're going to have to decide is where you want your angle of degrees. Uh, this particular one is 30 degrees, uh, which works for my particular windmill version, generator, wind turbine. You can change the picture that you want. If you want to make these uh, one of these harbours bigger for a bigger um, wind turbine, such as driving a car alternator, a question I've been asked, all you do is you make two of the harbours and glue them together. Make them bigger. Make this template bigger and get a much bigger harbour. Um, the other way of doing it, of course, as I've explained before, which is the best way of doing it, uh, loads of 4mm um, plywood, or whatever plywood you've got, or laminate them all together under compression, let them dry, and the next day you can have an arbor that big, that wide if you want, you can have a 10-inch you know, one, 11-inch one, 12-inch one, which whatever thickness you require, you can do by laminating them together, and you'll find that a man-made piece of timber will be 10 times stronger than anything you'll get out of a tree as a natural form. And I know I'm going to get picked up on that. Next up, I'll do a small one of these to drive the actual motor. And I think we've more or less finished them with, with, the, uh, with the jig. If you ever make a mess up with one of these, it makes a very nice coaster for the car. <laughs> Screw to the dashboard. Put your tea in, can't go or a can of coke, whichever. Not wasted if you don't. Remember, if they don't find your ransom, they'll find you useful.